All right, welcome to part three of my video editing tutorial and my ugly desktop here. So let me uh, blow up my video here. And we're gonna do one last playback with the filtered video, and then I can show you the website where I got my background music. So here we go. All right, there's my credits. As we've seen, you know my filtered video plays back. And now I'm gonna go into Safari and let me shrink my Safari window so you can actually see that here. And one of the great sites that you can uh, get some sound loops is www.flashkit.com, flashkit. And right here, when this loads, I have sound loops. So I'm going to click on that. You've got all these different musical categories. I think for mine, I clicked instrumental. And then I can scroll down and look through all these. So if I don't know what they are, each one has a playback. So I'm going to click play. Then I'll click stop, because that was a little too happy for mine. Uh, let's see what slow is. Oh, good lord, no. Um, let's see, serenata short. Well, basically, you have a huge page of these, and then you have at least 15 other pages. Okay, and I'll just keep scrolling through these. Now, keep in mind, uh, you want to try to find a song that's long enough to kind of play through your whole video. So I wouldn't look at something that's 11 seconds, okay? I would look for something that's maybe 30 seconds or 25 seconds that you could duplicate. So let's see what Twilight at the River Jordan is. That might be great if I had a video of my son walking down a country road or something, but okay, let's just take that for example. Let's say I wanted that to be the background music for my video. I click on the link right here, then it takes me into the download page. And what I would recommend right here is you hold control key on a Mac or a PC, click, and then from the pop-up menu, pop-up menu, not minion, from the pop-up menu, download linked file as, and it's as an MP3. Okay, that's how I got my background music. This website, flashkit.com, if I can speak correctly, also has a sound effects link. So you have all these different sound effects, ambient effects, cartoon effects, roars, and all kinds of stuff, mayhem, explosions, and things of that nature. So I got rockets, explosives, automatics, um, military sounds, uh, monster eats ice cream truck. I don't even know what that is. Let's see. Oh, literally, a monster eating an ice cream truck. Okay, um, yeah, whatever, <laughs> okay. But Flash Kit is great for those little sound effects that you can add to your Photoshop video projects, okay? So I will end this discussion there, and if you need any uh, other feedback, let me know. Um, but actually, I just 
thought of one more thing since I'm on the subject of sound effects. So I'm going to come back into Photoshop one last time and show you one last thing. I mentioned before, find a song that's long enough to play through your entire video. Okay, so right here I found a song long enough just for these shorter videos, these purple bars. That was long enough. If you find a sound effect that is too short, okay, a lot of those are sound loops. They're meant to play back to back to back to back. So I'm going to do that here really quick. I'm going to add one more new audio track just to show you on my screen. And I'll pick a short um, sports car here. Okay, that one's a really short clip. But if I wanted it to play all the way out to here, I can't do that. I can't stretch it. It won't. That is the length of my sound. So if you want a loop to play over and over, first you got to find a good one that is designed to play over and over and over. But if you do, you click the pop-up and you duplicate the audio clip. And I can click the pop-up, duplicate it again. So now it'll play right here. Let me scrub back. Audio clip will play and then play again from the start and then play again from the start. So check your sound loops. See if they're really set up to do that. Some of them aren't. And you'll definitely hear some skipping. But it's a good way to lengthen out a song. Because a lot of songs are set to a beat and a rhythm. And when you find that beat and rhythm... They usually go on and on and on and on, and you can find something to lengthen it out, okay? So now I will stop this. I'm not going to save that extra one right there, and I will see you next time in whatever class you end up in. I'll see you later. Look forward to seeing what you can come up with for your own videos.